Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be sitting down with Alex Reslock, who's a full-time guide out on Devil's Lake, and he's gonna share a bunch of tips that'll help you catch more perch on devils. So without further ado, let's jump right in to the juicy info. Uh, what you really wanna do, um, if you're coming out December, January, we call that more of the early ice. Um, and at that early ice, you're focusing any, pretty much everything, any, your fishing structure actually that time of year. Any kind of shallow flat, the bowls, any any old slough or anything like that, and you're you're gonna fish a lot more aggressive. That you're gonna start with a buckshot and a minnow head, or, or uh, even a tungsten. I mean, on some of those tougher days, but those days you're fishing a little more aggressive, and you're up off the bottom. The biggest thing with perch here is you're fishing. If you're looking for fish, you got to get two feet off the bottom, two to three feet, and you're jigging aggressive when you're marking those fish. But when when they actually come in, you really gotta slow it down. And especially as year goes on, when you're transferring to like the the basin bites. I mean, that's when you're drilling holes and 10 feet makes a huge difference. Um, when, you, when you're fishing those basins, I mean, any kind of, I mean, deeper flats on the old shorelines or anything like that, but the main thing where we catch the majority of our fish is is literally in the middle of nowhere. I mean, you're looking into the middle of nowhere like where we are today and there's no contours or anything. You're you're bouncing around and drilling holes every, every 50 feet, fishing for 15 minutes and and then drill another hole. Just keep going and going and going. Once you start marking some fish, sit there for a little longer, sit there for a half hour, 45 minutes. And some days it comes to you just plucking away and catching a few. Um, and so other days they'll come through and they'll be six feet. Next up, Alex is gonna tackle the age old question of how do you get those finicky fish to bite, specifically when he's out chasing perch on devils. When you have a really tough bite, you're, let's say you're marking a ton of fish. You have, you have two, three feet of fish down there and they'll come up and look and go back down. Come up and go back down. I mean, you, there's there's a few little tricks and it all kind of depends on the day. Most of the time what I'll do is literally, I'll tell guys to set it on, like their jig on a buckshot or on a bucket and they'll like, I'll have them just wiggle the rod tip with the top of your hand and just stop it. And then when they fish actually look at it, sometimes it takes 30 seconds for those fish to bite um, on those really tough days. And if your rod tip literally moves them up a millimeter you set the hook and a lot of times people think that's that's just small fish that are doing that but a lot of times the biggest ones have the lightest bite another thing you can really try is uh drop it to the bottom if it, and, this, and this is again when you have two three fish down there they're stacked up good drop it to the bottom and then just raise it up super super slow i mean i mean i'm talking you at the the line go slack and you're pulling up as slow as you possibly can and if you you feel any resistance whatsoever set the hook um the biggest the biggest mistake i see guys do is is jigging too much i would much rather you jig not enough than too much when you're perch fishing and that's and that goes to any time when you're trying to catch perch if whether it's early ice late ice or in the middle of the the dog days of winter now if you're going to spend all that time all that money all that effort to go to a destination like devil's lake ideally you want to maximize your time and you wanna catch some of those bigger fish that are kind of notorious for that fishery. In this case, it's those big jumbo perch. So Alex is gonna talk a little bit about how he goes about finding and catching and specifically targeting those bigger fish. If you wanna get bigger perch, you, 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 a, lot of, a lot of it is weeding through them or finding the right school. A lot of times if you're on smaller fish, you're just on smaller fish. I mean, it seems like the big ones roam together. Every once in a while you have one come up, a uh, nice fish come in and, and just eat. And there, there's days where the little ones are just biting and overpowering them where the the bigger ones were just, they're just not eating that day. You could go one day, you'll you'll catch a bunch of, bunch of little ones there, a bunch of, and then the next day you'll go out and catch a bunch of big ones there. Um, but usually it is the fresh school. If so, if you're, if you're, let's say you're fishing where a bunch of other people are, you see a bunch of people on the lake, and you're like, okay, we're gonna go start there and try it, and you're catching small fish. Get out away from those guys, do, do your own thing, drill your holes, because um, when you find a fresh pocket of fish, I'd say most of the time you're gonna, that's when you get your big ones. That's that's when those big ones are active, they're, they haven't been picked on, they haven't been missed, they're broke off or whatever, or even caught. Um, th those are when you're gonna get your aggressive big fish. Oh, this isn't bad. I think There's we did. A better one. I think we did get into him after the move. I was fishing a tungsten down there and catching, you know, the smaller one. So I switched to the to the glass buckshot and kind of just let it sit still above the school. And this guy came up and grabbed her. 
We'll shoot. Fish tacos. If you're going to Devil's Lake, you could just bring your walleye set up, you could bring your panfish set up, but you're gonna catch a lot more fish if you optimize that a little bit and uh, get set up specifically for the conditions you're gonna be fishing. So Alex is gonna run through his rod reel line setup that helps him maximize the amount of bites that he's getting when he's out chasing perch. So when I'm out searching for fish, um, I almost always use a buckshot of some sort just to, just to call the fish in. Um, run that to a, a four liter and then a, a lighter four pound line. Uh, and then something with a soft tip with, with a good backbone. Just a good moderate rod because I mean, running braid out here when you're fishing deeper water, you need that just, just so you can actually, you have no line stretch. I mean, you're, there's a lot of days when you're out in 40, 50 feet of water out here. Really simple setup with just a soft tip that you can use. Uh, you can use a buckshot or some sort of tungsten um, with just a braided line. It just goes a long ways. Um, you, don't, you don't have the line stretch and you can use it for basically anything here. I mean, if you hook a walleye, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna handle the pressure of the walleye. You're gonna be able to fight the fish good. And when you hook up with a good perch, it's, you're gonna be able to see it. Uh, you'll be able to see the bite. No matter where you fish, timing can be really, really critical. Uh, just understanding when certain bites pick up and when certain bites kind of fade off. So Alex is gonna touch on that subject right now as it pertains to the walleye action and the perch action on Devil's Lake. So for when you're fishing Devils, the uh, walleyes are almost always the first half hour to an hour in the morning and then the same hour before, before dark. Um, we don't really have any sort of night bite. I mean, it's something you stay, you try it and you might get a fluke, you catch one or something like that, but it's never gonna get progressively better into the into the dark. Um, with perch, that that's that all depends. When you get on a fresh bite of perch, or a fresh school of perch, you're gonna, they're gonna bite whenever, most of the time. Um, you're fishing a little more pressured fish, there's almost always bite windows you can when you catch them when those fish start to spool up and you see them moving around moving fast and actually biting uh take advantage of it because sometimes that is a is a 10 to 20 minute window and then they'll go dormant for another couple hours and and then sometimes you get them to go again um but yeah i mean the, the main time to catch perch most days is 10 to 10 to 1 10 to 2 that midday bite when the sun's high all right last up i had to ask alex what is his favorite time to target perch on Devil's Lake as far as the winter season goes? Starting off in the beginning of the year, most of the time the, the perch are, are scattered out more. There's smaller pods of fish, so when you're fishing shallow, you're, you're gonna boom, you'll catch 10, and then there's nothing there. You move a little bit and you catch 10. Or if you're sitting in a spot, you'll have just five come through a wolf pack and boom, 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 and then they'll be gone for a little bit. As the year progresses, those fish are gonna slowly start to school up and push out into the basins. And then that's when you're gonna get, the later in the year, the bigger the schools are gonna get normally. So um, my favorite time of the year, I mean, it really depends in the in the early ice. It, it's fun because they're usually super aggressive, a little easier to find. Um, later in the year, you gotta drill a lot more holes, but it's the most rewarding thing in the world is when you drill in, after you're drilling 50 holes, 60, 70, 100 holes in a day, when you finally drill that hole and you look down and there's six feet sitting there when you drop your transducer down, that there's there's not a better feeling in the world than that. All right, well that's all we got for you in this one. If you're heading out to Devil's Lake, hopefully you're able to use a few of these tips to put a few more perch on the ice. And if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below because we have a lot more awesome content coming in the future. And until then, we will see you in the next one.